They've been on the front lines of the pandemic for months. Healthcare workers not immune from the challenges of figuring out Thanksgiving this year. I have to say that it's, it's been very difficult. Staffers from Atlantic Care sharing with us how their celebrations will be different and downsized. Normally, we probably would have uh, 20 something, 20 to 30. This year, it's, it's probably no more than nine. Director of Nursing for Ambulatory Care Sherry Bragg says that's basically people she considers to be in her immediate household bubble. If it's cold, we're going to have to bundle up. Yup, for Atlantic Care's Director of Infection Prevention, Gemma Downham, Thanksgiving will be held outdoors and in the afternoon to take advantage of the daylight. My parents, my in laws, and then my immediate family will all be at separate tables. We'll be outside and we'll be able to talk to one another. Also, no buffet. We will put together plates. For each individual. These extra measures that we're taking is really to protect ourselves and each other. And, it, and that's the way we show each other that we care about each other. But healthcare workers say they can't help but worry about what could happen after Thanksgiving if other people aren't as careful. I and my colleagues are very concerned if people don't take this risk seriously about having, um, you know, an influx of patients in the hospital, but also having our our local teachers, our local police officers, um, the members of our community getting sick. A holiday about giving thanks and being grateful, even during a crisis. Every day, every breath is something to be thankful for. Ted Greenberg, NBC 10 News.